Gaming is really, really wild right now. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys, and holy crap, this Assassin's Creed drama has overtaken the internet. Okay, we got a lot of people giving their takes on it. Asmund Gold is also receiving heaven proposals. Yeah, just because he let his opinion out on Assassin's Creed, Sigas are saying you you need a heaven proposal. We're gonna get into it. We got a bunch of clips that I'm gonna share with you guys, and apparently Ubisoft is once again in another PlayStation uploaded this trailer about X Defiant preseason Battle Plus uh, trailer, more like uh, you know, see for a manly woman getting that Ubi slow treatment. This may be as bad as that Mary Jane from the Spider Jane, and pictures are being shared. <laughs> We're gonna get into it right now, guys. Like the video if you think Woke is bad. Dislike the video if you think Woke is good. Woke is good. I wanna know where you're at. I right, roll this one. Wait for it. That park place, CD Project Red senior lead weapon artist apologizes for noting criticism about Assassin's Creed Shadows is valid. Context, apparently one of the deaf from CD Projekt Red came out and he was like, yeah, uh, uh, this is like bad, right? Like they are really destroying the Japanese culture. And right after that, he reverted. He went back on his words, okay? Check this. Now one thing I'm gonna throw out there, never apologize to these people. You set a precedent, if you do, for their moral authority and you show weakness. And besides that, these wokesters are never appeased. So the apology yeah. doesn't help you anyway. But anyway, the article says CD Projekt Red Senior lead weapon artist Michael Kalis apologized for claiming that the criticisms Criticism. Ubisoft and its development team are receiving for Assassin's Creed Shadows are valid. <gasps> and Initially, no Kalis took to Twitter and wrote the concerns and criticism around Assassin's Creed Shadows are valid. So yeah, this is like the pre-woke, right? Like, uh, yeah, we also have, he had that post-woke clarity right after kick it in too, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to check that out, I know, but yeah, let's see. And I personally think it might disrespect Japanese culture with the provided historical inaccuracy. People, especially Japanese people, have full right to yeah. oppose trends like this. And right now, like, I'm, I'm seeing, like, uh, people say that, bro, it's game, bro, like, it don't matter. Yeah, fair, everybody has the right to have their opinions, right? Some people are saying that, uh, like, uh, yeah, Yasuke was a retainer, some are saying that he was a samurai. Uh, we're also seeing a fight happen over on Wikipedia, which is just wild. Sekiz are trying to change the history. I guess Sekiz gonna be Sekiz, man. <laughs> yeah, people are editing. I don't know what's worse, okay? The, this wool crap that's happening in games, right? Uh, with, with you Ubisoft, oh, okay, of course, uh, Ubisoft is also doing this. They received massive backlash with Star Wars recently as well. But right now, Sikas are also changing the Wikipedia stuff. Absolutely. So some believe that he was a samurai. Some believe he was a retainer. So there's fight happening around that too. Some are also saying that, hey, it's just game. Don't matter. And I, and I see everybody's point of view right now, right? But also, there are a lot of people that are saying that, okay, like, Fair. Samurai retainer don't matter. Game, historically accurate or not, don't matter. But it's a game set in Japan, so it should have like a Japanese protagonist, right? So that's one of the things where I'm seeing a lot of people coming together as one. And more so than that, a lot of people are also talking about the price point, which I want to dive right into after this one. And that's why apparently Asmund Gold is also receiving heaven proposals. Yeah, wait for that one, but check this. Logical. Kayliz apologized for these comments on May 19th. He wrote, I've noticed criticism. So two days after he apologized uh, for saying uh, whatever he said that, yeah, we, we don't want, uh, it, it, for ja it's like bad for the Japanese culture. Uh, it it should have basically have a Japanese protagonist. So now he's like walking back on that, okay? regarding my recent comment about Assassin's Creed Shadows. After reflecting on it and reading your responses and retweets, I realize I owe you an apology. He continued, First of all, I acknowledge that I am not qualified to share statements or discuss such topics. Your feedback has highlighted the importance of being more informed and respectful in my opinions. It has also shown me that we should be more open to new ideas and yeah. not restrict ourselves uh -oh. too much while uh-oh, new ideas! Gotta be strong, gotta be independent. Yeah, these are the new ideas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. <laughs> You're really sharing that? Okay, I did not see this picture till now. Uh, what game is this from? Yeah, damn, Stunning and Brave, right? Like the video if you don't want Stunning and Brave. Dislike the video if this is uh, what you want. And yeah, this is Lara Croft, man. Oh my god, bro. Like, look at that, bro. What? Y'all sick is crazy? 
Yasuk is really doing that? It's not just one game. Uh, it's like you're gonna end up finding these examples after laying off half of the studio. Immortals of Avium's devs have now reportedly uh, for loft. Uh, hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Most of those left. Bruh. It's bruh, indeed, bruh, indeed, and this also recently happened, I believe, in Pokemon, right? So look at that, this was before, this is the after, the <laughs> this is the after, like the boxy character, yeah, flat chest, but look at that, yeah, you see it! This was before, this was after, and, and seconds are saying, please roll back this atrocious update, I, I hear you, brothers, I hear you, and yeah, Mary Jane also ended up getting a testosterone shot in Spider-Man, I, I, I swear to God, it's wild, but wait for it. While creating new worlds, we all draw inspiration from a wide range of media, and that's great, I appreciate your patience and understanding, I've learned something valuable and will strive to do better in the future. Kayla's concluded, I'm looking forward to the next Assassin's Creed, the setting, Intrigues me a lot. Yeah, 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 Get a friend, loser. Now, the first thing I want to point out is how this never, literally never, goes the other way, does it? You never hear some woke a-hole say, you know, after reflecting on my toxic statements about, oh, let's say, white people, or men, or whatever they're whining about, but after reflecting on them, I realized I'm not qualified to discuss yeah. this topic. Yeah. It never- he He's a game dev. I think he's qualified. I I I think he's qualified. It looks like that he heard like a knock on the door. Uh, perhaps like a woke uh, woke pop, a popo woke police came on and they were like, "You're talking way too much. You're talking way too much." Uh, I. I, I, I kid you not, man. When I first saw this, let me actually show you guys this real time, okay? When I first saw this crap, bro, I was mind blown. So, yeah, CD Projekt Red Dev walked back. You, you guys just saw that, right? Now, a couple of days ago, they also apparently came out and they said that we're proud to receive the Diversity Charter Award for our menstrual leave benefit in the category of innovative, innovative approach to diversity, equity, and inclusion in business. Dee -hee. And, and apparently, they are getting awards simply for having menstrual and basically taking a leave for, for that Bruh. you cannot make this up bro you cannot make it's, it's like if a guy if a guy uh, it's like a guy saying bro like i had an erection today so like i need to take a leave Bruh. It, it, it's what what are we doing out here this this is linked with gaming of course of course of course it's linked with gaming cd project red does that so they had like one good employee i guess and now he's also gone and i don't blame the employee i feel like that if he did not walk back on whatever he said he would have been fired and, and I, I personally like listen i don't want these devs getting fired like like especially in this climate in this economy oh oh hell now nah, right so i understand why he walked back or maybe he saw the light maybe he saw what the happens, light. and i'll tell you why because the pressure to be anti -woke wait for it comes from the bottom it's a grassroots movement it is simply built on people thinking for themselves whereas the pressure to be a woke automaton comes from the top corporations want you to be unthinking tax cattle and wage slaves that is what they want and if you want evidence that what i'm saying is correct that actually Actually, the opinion that this guy originally expressed is a popular grassroots opinion shared by the majority then take a look at uh -oh. the trailer for this turd of a game Assassin's yeah. Creed Shadows currently Holy. sits at a ratio of 265 and, and I know like you guys probably not gonna like what I have to hear uh, what I have to say you're not gonna like what <clears throat> what you're gonna hear next but guys it's uh, it's true still can be wrong though Bruh. what I mean by this is that the boycotts usually don't work they do work but outside of games they do work in gaming too don't get me wrong like the hell driver situation that was beautiful everybody came together that happened but like in terms of brands that are known like assassin's creed call of duty yeah call of duty situation happened right with nick marks still is the best selling game bro still is the best selling game so it, it's like not even in my opinion i'm giving you this uh opinion based on the data now surely what we're hearing is that assassin's creed shadows pre-orders are reportedly very strong oh, shit. uh because uh, the amount of backlash that's online online you would think that it would not happen right that the game is not gonna sell well but apparently we're hearing that the pre-orders are reportedly very strong the report is coming from tom henderson he's very credible we we covered uh his news a bunch of times on the channel now i i know some of you are gonna be like and it might be true that when the game comes out and in the long run it might not be that 
it might not be best selling uh, it remains to be seen of course you're right uh and in this situation nobody knows the real outcome but see the the the, the boycotts in gaming simply don't work the more negativity there is the more it sells it's true uh so far for at least brands like uh or, or games like big games like uh, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and crap like that. If your game is crap, then, oh yeah, absolutely, it's not gonna sell. But if your game is uh, crap, but it's known, or you had, like, a past history where you had good amount of Assassin's Creed game, then yeah, sure, it's gonna sell well. But check this. 5,000 likes to a whopping 592,000 dislikes. That is, well, over a 2 to 1 ratio. And yeah, if you're thinking to yourself, well, that's just a bunch of uneducated morons who don't know anything about Japanese culture. They do not get to have an opinion on this topic. Well, look at the yeah. Japanese version of this trailer. <laughs> it currently sits oh, at 3.8 thousand. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely insane. Oh, shit. Yeah, the Japanese are not happy. And understand, understandably, like, also the black community is not happy with it uh not everybody not everybody like some some are cool with it like i was talking about some are some think he was a samurai some think he was a retainer personally listen i'm not a history buff i'm not claiming to know anything because i was not there first of all okay and i'm not a history buff either but but like a, a lot of people are, are also like hey like uh you know i'm a historian i knew he was not i knew he was right so we're hearing this both perspective and let's be real nobody knows now Simply put this, whether you think he was a retainer or a samurai or not, I, a lot of people right now are agreeing on this that, hey, like, it's a Japanese setting, though, right? So it should have a Japanese protagonist, a male samurai, right? They have a chick, but apparently that chick is looking more manly than a chick, apparently, uh, with a jawline that strong. I mean, I mean, sheesh, man, she about to beat up uh, Brock Lesnar with her pinky toe, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, I, absolutely. But a lot of people are like, hey, it's a Japanese setting, just like how they had um, Assassin's Creed in the past set in the Middle East, in, I believe, uh, yeah, in the Middle East, and they had an Arab dude. Yeah, makes sense, right? Uh, personally, like, I was saying this in the last video, too, I'm South Asian, I'm Pakistani, right? So, for example, uh, if they were to do, like, this Assassin's Creed Japan, and if they put like a like a Pakistani dude oh yeah absolutely people would be mad nobody would want that because it's like hey Japan setting need a Japanese protagonist especially when you're gonna do a his uh, story that's like uh, based on the, the feudal Japan right it it's not like yeah so that that's the part of many people agree on but still a lot of people are like hey it, it's just game who cares uh, i i, I understand listen man like i i see everybody everybody's point of view but the next thing that i want to talk about this is where literally everybody agrees on except for the one percent and that one percent is sending heaven proposals oh, shit. Oh, to shit. you guys me asmongo everybody wait for that Thousand upvotes to 39,000 downvotes. That is a 10 to 1 ass whooping. The people have clearly spoken. This shit is about as popular as a turd that got stuck in the toilet. Come on, flush you bastard. It would seem that this developer was bullied into changing his mind by his employer. He protected his account, as yeah. you can see here. Uh, says that opinions are my own. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have any pronouns in his profile, so. Yeah, they, they got him, boss. They got him, guys. They got him. They got him. Another one gone, man. Another one gone. And I, I don't blame the guy, bro. I, I really don't, guys. Like, he's probably gonna lose his job, bro. Like, if he if he keeps on saying that, like, he, he's gonna lose his job, bro. Opinions are my own. More like, hey, opinions are theirs. And put out what read like very scripted corporate PR bullshit. And it's no surprise, considering the shit that has come out of CD Projekt Red lately. You yeah, might remember uh -oh. I did this video uh -oh. about a month and a half ago discussing why The Witcher 4 is destined to be a woke, unplayable piece of garbage. Much like what Assassin's Creed Shadows looks to be. Sadly, if you think for yourself, there is no room for you in the video game industry. But I'm gonna leave it there. What do you- It's like everything and just today, bro. Like these like I think like I also did that man like holy crap so even <laughs> X Defiant the X Defiant the so-called Call of Duty killer not so much anymore but uh, you're not ready for this one check this out okay 
I gotta show you this. So Asmongold Balk said Assassin's Creed Shadows $130 Ultimate Edition price point that includes day one DLC. Oh wow, oh wow. So Asmongold Balk said Assassin's Creed Shadows $130 Ultimate Edition price point that includes day one DLC. A lot of the discourse surrounding Assassin's Creed Shadows right now, especially on social media, mostly revolves around Yasuke's character and his yeah. history and what Wikipedia is doing and whether the Japanese should or should not be upset about this according <laughs> to Western white liberal women but then there yeah. are people imagine imagine you getting offended on uh, other people behalf and also imagine you telling other people hey man like hey you should not be offended bro like you know you should not be Jap japanese people you should not be offended <laughs> it's crazy everybody's uh and and i'm not gonna be fake offended i said that before like listen i'm not Jap japanese i'm a brown boy i'm not black uh I, I hear everybody's perspective here, and I understand where everybody's coming from, but but it's like, the game is set in Japan, though, like, damn, bruh, like, the game is set in Japan, in feudal Japan, so they could have done, they should have, and they should have done a Japanese male protagonist, but again, it's just game, bro, like, yeah, I, I hear that argument, too. Now, after, like, hearing everybody uh, being, like, a history buff, everybody being a scientist, and everybody, like, uh, being an astronaut, and uh, sharing their takes, this is one of those things that I feel like that all gamers can collectively agree like if you don't agree with uh like my take uh his take theirs take or everybody's take right i, I feel like that this is that one uh specific thing that we i, I guess we can all come together just like the hell dire situation and, and cause a change perhaps let's find out who focus on other issues that are also really important and maybe even more so than the issue at hand the insanely stupid price points they're overcharging for this game i mean yeah. they're trying to get away with it and as Gold thinks that this black character in this video game is just a distraction to get people to not pay attention to this maybe, thing which i also maybe. find to be a reasonable take of course they could do something like that make a controversial video game character for attention and for pre-order sales uh, yeah absolutely movies have done that uh yo my, my bad for my guy my bad for hiding your cat in the back here Bruh. but like brother gotta do what a brother gotta do okay so why wouldn't the video game industry do something like that too? But he said something pretty reasonable. He says, this is why people pirate games. It. They're doing it again. Who cares about the main character? The game is $130. He then added, everybody's mad about the character, but maybe this is their strategy. Add in a main yeah. character for a game that is really controversial. And that way it'll distract this people way. from the fact that you're- And if this statement and if this news reporting is true, it goes to show you, right? Like, even though most people agree that this is egregious, like, think about it for a second, right? $70 for a video game. Uh, it's used to be 60 right so with that logic this game is two times more it should like twice it would be 120 but it's apparently 130 but of course they have upped the price to 70 dollars and now you get the full game at 130 but it's it's an ultimate edition bro it's nah bro like the, they are cutting content in the 70 dollar version okay they're releasing the 70 dollar version late and this Ultimate Edition that says that three days early access, this is launching on time, all right? They're simply just releasing the other edition late, right? Like, this is this is the real game here with Season Pass, three days early access, Ultimate Pack, pre-order pack, uh, and all that bull squash, and they're charging almost double the price. I mean, double would be 140 in this case, but it's 130 How nice of them to save you $10. Wow, yeah. right? Yeah, like the video for that, guys trying to get people to spend $130 for the effing game. He does yeah. have a point about this. I think that people have both a point about the Japanese characters being replaced by a black main character for the sake of DEI and ESG. I think that that's yeah. a reasonable take, and I'll show you why in just a second. But I also uh -oh. think that the complaints about the price are also reasonable. Why wouldn't you point that out when Ubisoft is charging up the wazoo without even showing us gameplay first? And I actually talked about this image in a video prior to this one, but yeah, as you can see, they're trying to push people towards the Ultimate Edition, which is included in a Ubisoft Plus subscription deal for $17.99 yeah. a month which is drastically lower than these insane actual game prices on the left. Yeah, these are really terrible marketing practices. And of course, I could see Yasuke being used as a distraction. I don't think that's a far-fetched take. Why wouldn't they do that? They could do two things at once. But do you know yeah. who doesn't find him? And, and you know what? It's working. It, it, it is working. People are divided on the internet once again. Yeah, it, people are divided. And it's working. They always play the race card. This is why I'm saying, man, whether you're white, black, purple, brown, 
or or what whoever you identify as bruh like hey it ain't even about that bruh like don't like let's stop being divided though let's stop dividing people like that bruh like yeah okay sure everybody got their takes you can agree with it you can disagree with it but like holy crap like what the hell is going on and then they they do crap like this which is of course like the dislike ratio is going up uh, yeah everybody knows why ubisoft is one of the wokest company ever okay they're one of the wokest company ever and this game if you didn't know it's linked with Sweet Baby Inc. Oh, shit. Oh, On Sweet Baby Inc, Ubisoft is like front and center. And when I first saw that, my reaction was like this. Like, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. yay, mirrors breaking down. And I don't even know what planet am I on. This is happening under God's hot sun, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you guys what happened right after this here. Is take reasonable? It's 22,000 people on Twitter who apparently want him dead. 22,000 people yeah, wish holy. death on Asmongold for thinking a game being $130 is outrageous. We are cooked as a species. Now, could you say for certain that these 22,000 people liking this post actually want Asmongold dead? You can't really say for sure, but check out what this person says in response to Dexerto. So Dexerto says maybe this is their strategy, so he quotes Asmongold. And JT says in response in a quote tweet, words can't describe how happy I am and how fortunate I feel to live in the timeline where two mad effing died, but please, Lord. Lord, I need you to perform one more miracle for me. This person is not only glad that another person died, but he wants Asmon Dang. Gold to die as well and is praying Crazy. to God for that to happen. God doesn't take kindly to prayers about you wishing death on other <laughs> yeah, human beings. But apart from- Like, imagine asking God to, hey, I want this person to be sent to heaven or heal in this case. Could you imagine that? That's absolute unhinged. And apparently this is considered fine. Uh, I believe like Twitter, uh, uh, Elon Musk did uh, remove that tweet or because it while yeah, it violates. Oh, sh oh yeah. You think it doesn't violate? Come on, man. Okay. You think that sending heaven proposal to another human being uh, that you don't even know in real life, it's fine? Crazy, man. Crazy. From misunderstanding God completely, we're also going to misunderstand Asmon Gold's very mild and tame take that actually yeah. has a lot of validity to it. Let's just wish death upon this guy. But yeah. I'm more shocked yeah. about the fact that 22,000 people liked this post. I guess yeah, just crazy. talking about the price point for Ubisoft's game is going to get you canceled and people... So this is exactly why I was saying, guys, like boycotts, especially for brands like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, don't work, right? It might work. Listen, we don't know. So far, it says that very strong. My, you, you think false report? maybe listen i don't know the numbers nobody knows the number but tom is credible and he's saying that uh, people in the know uh they're not disappointed and the numbers are good like of course we don't have the numbers and we do not know like what they're comparing the numbers to like their first ever assassin's creed game their last assassin's creed game the the one that was the most sold assassin's creed game are they comparing it to like a different triple a title yeah sure we don't know so we don't know the numbers i agree with you but 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 listen yeah, like 22,000 people liking, so, I, I, I mean, damn, homie, like, a lot of people are like, hey, that's $130, that's justified, I guess it is, maybe everybody's rich, maybe I'm, I'm the, maybe, maybe I'm just the brokey here, maybe I'm just, uh, finding this problematic, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Apparently want you dead, I mean, what kind of response is that, to hate a guy and want him dead for just pointing out the fact that Ubisoft is overcharging for this game when they really don't have to, but at least Elon Musk and his crew understand yeah. when a post is just too much to be left sitting there for all to see because it's ridiculous that this guy just wished death on Asmongold or why anybody needs to be having their lives ended over a video game in the first place that's just absurd yeah absolutely insane and guys this also recently just went down in gaming okay check out this video on the screen i'm not sure if you got got to see this clip or not on the left this video is about gta 6 yeah we got a lot more gameplay leaks trailer 2 news as well check out both of these videos and i will see you right there